In today's video, I'm excited to unbox another jacket from MyTailor.com. You'll all remember in one of our last videos, we had Joe and Davij Hemrajani here in our offices uh, to talk about seasonal wardrobes. And so this is a new jacket that is gonna go with some trousers that I had them make. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Without further ado, let's open this up. You know, a lot of people have actually asked, how does uh, my tailor or the Hemmer Johnnies actually send their garments? So uh, this video is gonna show you exactly what it looks like whenever you receive a garment uh, from the Hemmer Johnnies. Of course, um, this is coming straight from their factory express um, to your doorstep. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So it's been a little bit of a while, especially because of all the shutdowns due to COVID. So I have to be totally honest, I don't exactly know what's inside this box. So it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, so let's open it up and see what we have. So there we go, Himra Johnny. Let's see, here's the note. This is a, a navy semi-solid jacket from Finmoresco. And of course, one of the things that I love about the Himmer Johnny Brothers is that uh, they ship all of their suits with one of our uh, Hanger Project uh, hangers. You can see this is a beautiful uh, two and a half inch shoulder flare felt to trouser bar. Uh, so you really can purchase from them knowing that your jacket uh, is not only gonna be beautifully made, but beautifully cared for afterwards. Now they also send a little garment bag. This is a nylon garment bag. It's not something that I would store my garment in, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, it's not as good as one of our 100% cotton um, Hanger Project garment bags, uh, but it does provide protection. The only thing you have to be careful about is that the garment isn't going to be able to breathe in this because it is essentially plastic. So we'll put that aside and not judge them for it. And then here's the garment. So let's see, it's quite heavy. So um, I don't know. Nicely wrapped. Ooh, more than one. Ah, that's right. We've got a few exciting things in here. I thought it felt heavier than one jacket. So this is something that I've needed for a long time. This is a proper um, hop sack odd jacket. So look at that. Since this is a more normal kind of a casual summer piece, I've got some patch pockets right here uh, to really differentiate it from something that's slightly more formal, but a normal breast pocket. I could have done a nice patch pocket right here, but I like how this kind of transitions, kind of it's got one foot in the door where it's, you know, it's something that's formal enough that you could wear in the evening time to a dinner at a nice restaurant, but the patch pockets uh, still kind of bring it uh, down in formality and differentiate it from your traditional uh, business uh, suit or business uh, jacket uh, like what I'm wearing today. Uh, let's see what else. So we'll put this on and we'll talk about it in a second, of course. One of the things is uh, anything that comes uh, from him or Johnny really does need to be uh, steamed out and maybe touched up with some pressing. Uh, so we'll have to do that off camera. Uh, working buttonholes, of course, and Hamber Johnny is great because they've got multiple different makes, uh, and so they can hit almost any price point. This is uh, made of their uh, kind of entry level uh, made to order or made to measure program. It's like an $800 jacket, so it's not perfect. It stands up a little bit, you know, kind of on the back. I mean, you guys have all seen that, uh, but you know, with the nice fabric uh, and certainly cut well and in your measurements, I mean, this is a million times better than something you would get off the rack uh, locally. Uh, and then they've got their full bespoke as they call it uh, but this is effectively as much handwork as they can put into the jacket as possible as far as the bones are concerned uh, I mean it is really as close to you know a proper bench made bespoke a jacket as you can get now let's see what we have here I think I know but uh, again it's been a while yeah it's what I thought it was some proper summer shorts so I don't know if I'd wear those with this jacket but I could uh, but these are uh, essentially cut like trousers so this is a navy chino fabric, which is a, a cotton twill. Uh, and again, uh, high rise, tab trousers, waistband all the way in the back, nice two inch turnups. 
Uh, I have them make a pair of these uh, out of linen, uh, and I enjoyed them so much, I told Joe uh, to make me uh, two additional pairs. Now I can see Joe uh, put some personal touches in here with some you know, interesting uh, lining for the pockets. Uh, anyone that knows Joe knows that he's kind of really big into these small kind of hidden touches. It's a way for him to be playful. Um, so what is this? Let's see what this is. I wonder if there's an inside joke here. Um, doesn't look like there's any inside joke that I'm able to identify yet, but who knows, anything's possible. Uh, this just looks like kind of a summer floral motif. So anyway, these are gonna be perfect. Uh, I'm headed to Telluride next week, so I'm gonna rush these off to the dry cleaners, uh, have them dry cleaned and pressed. This is a beautiful navy, and then of course, summer cream. I mean, again, this is pretty, pretty beautiful. Um, and uh, perfectly made. Um, and again, this is their trouser cut. So, you know, something like this, you know, uh, really costs almost the same price as a pair of trousers because it's essentially all of the work that goes into a pair of trousers is in the waist anyway. I mean, it's basically just a few, maybe one, one and a half yards less fabric uh, because, you know, the bottom half of the pant is chopped off. But if you think about it, the only difference between this and a proper dress trousers is just a little bit of extra long seam that's done by machine anyway. You still have the cuffs, you still have all the work that goes into the waist. Uh, and so uh, this is something that I've always wanted, but never wanted to buy from, you know, a full true uh, a bespoke a tailor um, or, you know, like Huntsman. I mean, a pair of shorts like this for Huntsman would still cost almost $2,000 because again, it's almost a bespoke pair of trousers. So I kind of splurged at the opportunity to get this from Joe. Of course, one of the things that I love so much about the Himmer Johnny Brothers uh, is their work is exceptional and their prices are incredibly reasonable, especially for the workmanship and the quality. Uh, their work is really just kind of, um, you know, top notch, uh, to be totally honest. So there we go, excited about that and excited about this. Um, let's see what else, let's, let's put it on now. Here we are, beautiful jacket. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but I'm not gonna try on the shorts for all of you uh, today. Uh, but luckily, this navy hop sack goes beautifully with these dark gray trousers that I'm wearing right now, uh, and really works with uh, even this navy uh, London dot uh, sovereign gray tie. But beautiful jacket, I mean look, I mean it closes nicely. Right, hugs the collar quite well, perfect sleeve length. And there's a few details that Joe worked into this that I'm, I'm quite happy with. One, you can tell that there's a very subtle kind of edge stitch, which gives a little bit of definition to the lapels without being uh, too uh, forward, uh, which I've seen on, on some of the stuff like the khaki uh, linen suit that Formosa made for me out of Italy. It's got that highly contrasting uh, pick stitching, which honestly is a little bit bold for my taste. This is a really quite subtle. One of the other things I love about a nice hop sap jacket, again, is the rich visual texture you get by this open weave. It's meant to wear light, uh, but one of the benefits uh, is that it also gives a really nice kind of subtle visual texture. It's soft, uh, it's a little bit more casual than a high twist fabric, um, so really quite beautiful. The patch pockets are nice. They really integrate very well. And one of the things that I noticed whenever I first put this jacket on is that with the full handmade make, you know, they're full bespoke. I mean, this jacket uh, is really quite hefty. I mean, it's a heavy jacket because of just all the structure that's going in to the full canvassing. It's fully canvassed, the full floating canvas. Uh, and so uh, it still has weight to it and structure, which really you want out of a nice jacket. That's what's going to give the jacket its longevity. It's what's going to help it hold its shape. Uh, and um, anyway, so that's certainly a mark of quality. Uh, handmade buttonholes. I went for brown horn buttons. These have a nice satin finish to it uh, versus gold buttons, which would make this just strictly a blazer. Uh, and so this, again, adds versatility to the jacket. Um, and then what else? Beautiful double vent in the back. Uh, hopefully the back fits nicely. I can't see it right now, but uh, hopefully you guys will all let me know in the comments. Uh, but otherwise, well, I have to say I'm really happy with this jacket and it's really kind of surprising that I went as long as I did without such a foundational summer element uh, in my wardrobe. Now, this is way more appropriate and comfortable than that woolen cashmere blend a jacket that I was wearing just at the beginning of this video. It works perfectly with these high twist trousers. Uh, this is a thin Moresco high twist trouser that Joe made also. 
cut quite high so I could wear it with braces, but it's got tabbed, uh, a tabbed waistband. So here, you know, this is um, pulled in quite a bit to help it kind of pinch at the hip and stay up. Uh, but I could also uh, wear it with braces and uh, let the trouser out to make it be a little bit more comfortable through the waist. Beautiful drape uh, and really an exceptionally lightweight fabric, uh, even in a hot Texas summer. So let me know what you think of this garment. Um, I'm gonna take those shorts to the dry cleaners, uh, have them washed and pressed, uh, and then I look forward to wearing them uh, here soon uh, in Colorado. So I uh, hope everyone is doing well, enjoying their summers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do by clicking the red subscribe button in the upper right hand corner, turning on your notifications so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I invite you to do so at Kirby Allison. It's the best way to stay up to date about what's going on kind of in our world. And if you haven't visited KirbyAllison.com, please do so. It's how we support this channel and we've got the largest collection of luxury garment care, luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories like this beautiful London dot sovereign grade tie that I'm wearing today. Uh, you can see that it knots beautifully with a beautiful dimple. Again, that's because of all the work that we put into the lining of this tie uh, that we've developed to ensure uh, that they all but tie themselves. And of course, available in two lengths, a standard 150 centimeter uh, for uh, gentlemen like myself that are kind of in the 510 range, uh, and then a long 160 centimeter tie uh, for those taller gentlemen that need a slightly longer tie. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.